Halo fans City Hunter, kita punya interview eksklusif dengan Ryohei Suzuki yang memerankan Ryo Saiba di film live action City Hunter yang akan hadir di Netflix pada 25 April 2024. Yuk kita lihat ada informasi eksklusif dan rahasia di balik layar apa saja yang akan dibagikan oleh Ryohei Suzuki kepada kita. Lanjut ke video. Well, it wasn't actually an offer or anything. The producers knew my passion for making live action version of CD Hunter because I've been a huge fan of CD Hunter for, for decades. So they approached the studios and TV stations and all the streaming platforms and eventually Netflix gave it a green light. And when I heard that, I thought I would be really happy about the news, but what came to my mind was the tremendous pressure. Because I loved that IP, City Hunter, so much that I never wanted to ruin it. You know, so I was, I'm still under strong pressure. I'm, of course, I'm really happy at the same time, but I have to carry this incredible story to of course to old fans of City Hunter, but also to the new generation who have no idea what City Hunter is. But I think we've done a good job. I think every generation in, from all over the world can enjoy this story very much. There's only one option, Kaori. She's the only one for the Osaiba. No other option. She's the goddess among the fans. Well, it was, it was a great experience. I mean, she has this special talent about getting into the character. And she's hardworking. She's a hardworking actor. Like, before the scene, she had to use the hammer. She was practicing, like, all day with that hammer, how to handle hammer. And she was asking me how to, you know, how to do this, do these moves, like Kaori does. And she was you know, practicing all the time in the set, and I was looking at her and what, you know, what an actor she is. And then, as the filming goes on, she got into the character more and more, and how she delivers her lines were exactly the same as the original voice actor who played Kaori in the animation adaptation of City Hunter. So he was watching like a magic. Well, thanks, thanks to Netflix, we had enough time to prepare for action scenes. So yeah, I felt more comfortable than what I usually do for with you know, regular Japanese films. And also I had a very good relationship with the stunt coordinator. We talked about how we choreographed that fighting and everything. And we talk about how we edit the action sequences and everything. So we had the same image, same vision of action sequences how the old cyber would fight. So it was not really hard to make it a good action scene. But the only, only thing I had to practice a lot was how to handle guns, especially reloading. When I reload the guns, the old cyber has to reload really quickly. He does, he does it with you know, unbelievable speed. You know, quickness to reload the guns. So I, I had to practice a lot and I had to figure out how he reload the guns. I mean, there are many ways to reload revolver guns. You can, for instance, like you can re reload here, but in, in the film, sometimes you have to reload in this frame, within this frame, when it's a close-up shot. So I have to reload right here I have to practice how to reload so quickly you know, right here by my face. 
so I I had to train that kind of thing for such a long time. And there is also a scene I have to disassemble gun without looking at it in like two seconds. So that was hard too. No CGI. We didn't use CGI there, no VFX. That's a very good question. You know, sometimes Leo gets really cartoony. And it is not always easy for actors to embody cartoon characters into the real world. And there are always options when you play cartoon character, which is you can make it as realistic as possible, you know, realistic acting, like many Marvel live action that do, many Hollywood movies do. And there is also a choice that you keep that cartoony expression as it is, and then make it a live action. And we tried, this time, we tried not to afraid to be cartoony. Because if we get rid of that cartoony part of Ryo Saiba, we are going to lose something iconic to City Hunter. So, yes, we, we try to make it a little closer to the original animation and original comic book. And I think we succeeded in it. Well, some people may think it is you know, a little overacting, but for Japanese style of making live action, I think many audience, especially Asian audience, can enjoy this kind of like, ups and downs in one character. Especially Ryo Saiba has a really big gap between two sides of his personality. So he sometimes, you know, this time he goes, he gets really serious, but at the next moment he gets really funny. It can exist one character you know, in Ryo Saiba, if, it's, if it is Ryo Saiba. So we try to make it happen in live action too. We try to portray the funny, interesting essence of Ryo Saiba, even if it's a live action adaptation. Thank you very much. Jadi itu dia interview eksklusif kami dengan Ryohei Suzuki yang berperan sebagai Ryo Saiba di film live action City Hunter terbaru. Terima kasih banyak untuk Netflix karena sudah memberi kami kesempatan untuk berbincang bersama Ryohei Suzuki. Kami rasa dia memang pilihan yang sempurna untuk memerankan Ryo Saiba. Jadi gimana menurut kalian setelah melihat interview tadi? Apakah kalian udah nggak sabar nungguin filmnya? Komen di bawah. Jangan lupa like dan subscribe kalau kalian suka dengan konten ini. Dan terima kasih sudah nonton sampai akhir video dan sampai jumpa di video berikutnya. Bye-bye.